Hi friends, welcome to yet another tutorial of Easy Video Series. Here I am going to show you how can you specify the font sizes using various environmental approaches. So if you remember my previous example, basically we had tiny script size. So we just specified using the command and we give a text. But let's say we have a huge amount of text or some specific lines on this and we only want to implement that particular environment for those particular sections. We can define an environment. So let's say this is tiny. So anything after that tiny will be continuing to be tiny unless it encounters a new command here. Okay, so the output you may have seen was the tiny and script size, footnote size, etc. So I am now showing you the usage of a document class and using environments. Just let me bring forward to it. Sorry. Yeah. So now you can see that instead of specifying slash huge and writing the huge text what I do I do a begin huge and end huge okay so when you use begin huge and end huge you can write any text between these sample brackets these sample environment and those complete text will be the huge text so now if you see this is just another small illustrative example this text has no environment when it has no environment the latex assumes that it is a normal font so you can see this is just another small illustrative example comes in a normal font size even though you did not specify any environment here. Again I start a new environment begin tiny and tiny this is a tiny example. So basically again this comes here as a tiny example. So in this way you can have a better demarcation if you see begin huge end huge so the code is quite readable as compared to the previous example where I showed you in this manner. Okay. So always prefer using writing this example or it depends on your circumstances. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.